Hi, and welcome back. Um, I'm gonna do a sort of a test pour today of a coral reef. I was looking at some coral reef pictures and they're just so beautiful and vibrant. Um, and I thought I'd try to um, sort of do that kind of look. Um, so I have, um, for the water, I'm using um, Nova Color Thalo Turquoise and Thalo, du Thalo Blue Deep, if I can speak. Um, so those will be my watercolors. And then I have um, Apple Barrel, Harvest Orange, Folk Art Purple. This is a really bright purple. I guess it's just called purple, but it's really bright. Um, Deco Art in Lipstick, Apple Barrel in Tropic Orange, and I have Liquitex Basics in um, Brilliant Yellow Green. So some really bright colors for the coral reef. Um, I saw all different colors when I looked at pictures of the coral and then there were fish swimming around that were in, um, I mean, every color imaginable. So I felt like I could just pretty much use whatever I wanted. I'd like to do this on a, on a large canvas. So I'm testing it on one of my little canvas panels. Um, just to see how it comes out um, and then you know maybe when I go larger if, if this works I can add some more colors to the coral reef um, I have this is all just paint and water I have um, blaster silicone I know there's paint all over there you can't see it um, one drop in the colors I think purple and red and green I had one drop in and I had two drops in the um, tropic orange maybe it was a green I had two drops in um, but they all have either one or two drops and I to do that I just sprayed it in a little cup and used a pipette um, because I knew if I tried to spritz the cups there would be so much silicone in those colors um, what I plan to do is do kind of a the light blue here into the dark blue and then either swipe the blue into the bright colors or swipe the bright colors into the blue. I'm not sure yet, but I'm using these as my swiping tools because they're very small. They have a really small edge and a longer edge, so I, I have a little bit of flexibility um, since this is such a small thing. So let us start and we'll see what happens. I know exactly how I want it to look in my head, which means it will look nothing like that, most likely. But we're going to shoot to be to get as close as I can. Since this is the first time I'm trying this, I know um, it's always trial and error. So let's go just a little bit lower here. And maybe bring it down just a little bit because I'm going to kind of swipe them together so I'll probably lose some of this and I may um, I don't really have enough since it's such a small panel I didn't make a ton so I don't know if I want to tilt these two colors together I probably would if I were doing this on a larger canvas might have even done like a dirty pour but I'm really limited on space So we'll just see. I'm going to go down to about here, I think. And then go up. Might have gone too low if I wanted to swipe. Actually, I went too low if I want to swipe into the colors. So I guess I'm going to swipe into the blue. I can always swipe back through the colors again with the blue. This was not a very good stir stick to use. I rarely wash my sticks and my tools. I let them dry because um, I don't want any of that going in the sink or anything. So um, I just let them dry and reuse them. But this one dried with a little bit of a clump on it. So um, it doesn't make it a very smooth stick for stirring. This is probably the last time I'm going to use this one. Okay, so let's see if I tilt a little bit. 
these colors to mix a little. They're not really mixing and melding together, so I'm going to swipe just a little bit. I think I'm going to use card for this, though, instead of wood. Swipe up. There we go. That's pretty. I love these. I've used these for a while because it felt like every time I was pouring, I was using these Nova colors. Um, these two that the two blue that I have because they are so pretty, but I felt like I needed to step away from them a bit. Sometimes I make myself go on a um, blue strike anyway because I'm always using blue. Now that's pretty. Okay. Well, I'm happy with that. Look how pretty that card is. Is that focusing? No, my lighting isn't perfect yet. It's pretty. Okay. Okay, now for coral reef. Let's just do some purple some different places. Orange. I have the most of this, so. Might add just a little more purple there. We'll see, though, how much we would go around. I want to use the red. Now I'm going to use it last, but I'm mostly going to use it um, on this side. And there are my little ones waking up. Okay, I'll be right back, guys. Okay, we'll see if we can get this done with a happy little guy or not. So, um, I'm going to add a little bit more purple right in here. And maybe just a little bit in this corner. I was gonna swipe, but I'm thinking maybe I might want to use a straw instead. Um, I might do half and half since this is kind of a test piece anyway. Let's see what happens. I also have some fluorescent yellow I was thinking about using. Did I say that already? I um, thought that might look really pretty. Set all my colors. Okay, let's fill in with some red right in here. The red ones always seem to have these little. I don't like that. Okay. Um, let's see. A little more bright orange, maybe, and a little more purple. Maybe I'll tilt a little bit and then decide if I want to swipe or um, use a straw. Oh, I got a little blue on there. Okay, that's right. Um, actually, I might put a little, whoops, a little blue right in there. Just have it come down behind that red. Okay. Tilt a little bit this way, just a hair bit. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna swipe a little, and then I think I'll use a straw a little. See what looks better. Not loving that. So let's swipe back down. Let's put a little blue. Here. Swipe. Ooh, actually, I kind of like that. Still 
I'll swipe it down just a little bit. Let's try a straw. Yeah, I like that better. Although I do like this right here, so I think I'm going to leave that. A bit more red, right? Oop, right in that purple. I have some blue on that. Maybe add a little bit more green. Kind of got lost in here. Pretty good. Add one more little thing of yellow, red, right in here, and then. Um, Actually, pretty happy with it. I'm wondering if a little bit of blue, because when I, you know, it wasn't like solid coral and fish, there was some water too. So let's see what happens if I add just a little bit of blue, a couple places. Let it seep through. Make it look like there's some space in there. Water. I think this is actually working out almost exactly the way I had intended, which is kind of nice. Is exactly how I had it pictured in my head. Okay, just a couple more little bits of blue, and I might swipe down just a couple places. We'll see, because this is really neat. Oops. I don't want to mess with those too much because they're kind of bleeding in the other colors and looking natural um, on their own. Although it looks really pretty going to that green, so. Ooh, look what it's doing right there. Oh, wow. I don't think I've ever had that happen with a straw before where I blow it over and then it, it sells. Okay. Okay, one more quick tilt this way to bring it down just a little bit. And I'm going to actually do just a little bit more in the green, and then I'm going to call it a day. I am really happy with it. I'm not sure I'm in love with that um, that peach color, the, what's it called, tropic orange. I might change my colors a little bit when I do it on a larger scale. Um, baby says I'm done and I'm actually quite happy with it. So um, we'll see when it's dry. Okay, and here it is dry. You can get it to focus. There we go. Um, you have to let me know what you think. I like the, um, the water and I definitely want to add some brighter colors to the coral. 
when I do it on a larger scale. I thought I was going to really like that peachy color, but I'm finding I like the brighter colors much better, more tropical. So I also wanted to show you real quick. Um, I did a couple dips in the leftover paint. I did not use the orange again, and I just wanted to show you how cool and textured these look. I think these almost look more coral reefy. Is that a word? Coral reefy? It is now. Um, <laughs> then the painting with the texture. So I'm going to play around, I think, for a bit before I do my large pour with um, some trying to get some texture similar to this and this um, while still being able to do the pour in the water. So that's my next challenge. Um, I love your feedback on the video, guys. So videos, so keep them coming. Give me a thumbs up if you like it, a thumbs down if you didn't, and always um, subscribe and hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss a thing. As always, guys, happy pouring.